Thor. Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick "What's the scuttlebutt?" So, what is the scuttlebutt? Anybody hear anything? And that's just kind of a quick overview of kind of what's going on in the game in the last week, uh, maybe two weeks. I haven't done this in a little bit. Got busy with life stuff, but uh, try to give you a real quick. Uh, version of what's going on with uh, some little tidbits on what my opinions are with them. So let's get after it. First things first, new blogs out. Um, and as you probably saw with some of the uh, folks from the Envoy program or the content creators, uh, there are some Sinister Six folks coming to the game. And as you, if you didn't see uh, any of the other content creators videos on that, it's, a, it's Rhino, Shocker, Vulture. So there wasn't really any information given as far as you know kits or anything like that but uh, they are confirmed going to the game and then obviously in the blog post today they uh they being fox sex has confirmed it so first one rhino protector talk about a taunt aoe com attack combo uh negative effect clearing for allies that's kind of a cleanse group type mentality there seems pretty decent um and then an ultimate that uh and this this um theme kind of uh, sits throughout this so to speak but each city hero as they face so meaning that their damage increases with the more city hero so uh i found that kind of interesting so uh it, it could combo you know or con um, contest well against those uh defenders even though they have damage increases versus villains we'll see which one kind of trumps the other one Next one, we've got Shocker, new blaster. Uh, he's got a single and uh, AOE focused attacks. Got some piercing and damage. Again, each city hero. Uh, let's see, also can amp up team attacks by granting Sinister Six allies offense up. So there's a little rescue um, aspect to that one, which yeah, could be kind of cool, I guess. And then uh, Vulture was the last one that they had in here. And uh, he seems to be a brawler. He can give slow and offensive down. Uh, to me, there was also, where was it here? Da, 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 da. There was a Falcon-esque aspect of him. It increases with each negative effect on the target. Obviously, Falcon's more positive effect, but you get the idea. And, you know, obviously, there's some Carnage special in that as well. So that's cool. And obviously, Green Goblin's already in the game. He's going to get a tag for that. So nothing crazy, you know, different or, uh, than what's already kind of been published by the other envoys. But... My quick take on this is I like new tunes to the game. It's fun. We need more villains. Um, you know, especially, you know, I'm hoping that these guys are better for some of the earlier players in the game so that they can kind of get them to contest those and get in those villain campaigns sooner. I know those are needed pretty badly. So my hope is that Fox Next is putting these guys in the game for that specific reason. Okay, next up, uh, Phoenix. We know she's coming. She's coming soon. Got an in-game mail on her. Uh, they also address this a bit in the uh, blog post as well. Uh, the event is coming June 27th. You know, we all know about the six star aspect of it. To me, one of the things that I thought was cool in this is that uh, these different rewards here, they are going to be giving red star rewards and we'll get in game and I'll show you this, but uh, they're going to be giving those for you as you clear those um, different tiers of the Phoenix unlock, which I, I think that's great. We need them. Um, you know, one of the things that is kind of surrounding this right now is uh, the $30 offer for Hand Assassin. You know, look, yeah, obviously that's more than most or all other um, offers for minions. I'm not super surprised by it, not going to lie. It's, um, I know people who are buying it. Um, it makes sense. You know, I get it. It's 60 shards. They know that's one that's needed. It's not farmed. It sucks, hurts, but... You know, it's. Um, I'm sure they're making a ton of money off of it, so that's probably why they they did it. And um, again, for profit business. Do I wish it was cheaper? Yes, I do. Do I blame them for doing it? Not necessarily, but I do think that you got to kind of be careful as a company a little bit when you've got you know a, a fan base that you know is, you're already working on you know building that trust and you know, love and all that kind of different things. So having said that is what it is. Uh, I hope if any of you guys are out there and you need it, you got an extra 30 bucks to spend to try to get toward it. Um, did it say on here too, the two, I don't, uh, da, 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 where is it? I'm looking for the two time. So they're going to be um, two separate two times events um, for the shards, for those specific, for hand assassin, Loki, 
uh, and Nobu, who you can farm from different shards. That's gonna start tomorrow, uh, the 22nd, so make sure once you hit reset tonight that you don't uh, necessarily go farm those shards right away. So wait until they're two times. Uh, here it is actually, uh, right here, two times event, 22nd. Uh, is it just 22nd? I thought there was a second one. Interesting. Um, I thought there was two there, but I could be wrong. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to look at that here in a second. Okay, so looking at this, this definitely only says 622. I'm gonna assume this is an error for the time being. Um, I don't know for certain because when you go into, uh, this is, let me slide my screen over a little bit here. You can see this is the, the main kind of uh, Fox Next affiliate Discord channel, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but it's where Cerebro posts, um, who's the senior community manager. Uh, and, you know, and he was talking back in the day when this whole Phoenix thing went down that, uh, you know, everybody was kind of upset, the six star and um, all that. And actually, let me scroll up a little bit, it's the wrong spot. But, uh, you know, he mentioned here on, what is it, uh, in May, late May, that there was going to be two bonus events. So I'm not sure what the bonus, it, he doesn't say, Oh no, he does say where you'll earn two times a character shard. So uh, we'll see if the blog's an error or if um, Cerebro was given some bad information at the time. We'll see. Uh, my computer's freaking out a little bit there. That was kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, so I'm personally moving forward as if there's gonna be two. I'm planning for it to be two because if not, I might fall short. So I'm really, really kind of hoping those are two shards. And if I hear anything, I'll definitely let you guys know I'm posting Discord and all that kind of different stuff. But my point still remains is during these two times events, wait until it says two times for those shards so that you can do it twice during that reset and after reset. So it gives you a little bit more opportunity to collect all those must need shards for the legendary Phoenix. All right, so now jumping back here, it doesn't show the requirements of what you need uh, for the Phoenix and Lex, so let's jump in a game for that. Okay, so in game, you, you probably got this mail several days ago. Um, obviously, you can see mine's five days ago. I'm not going to read through all this. It just talks about the the uh, Phoenix event, the double shards, our offers, daily login calendar, which you should get about 10 shards from um, all the different characters. I think one of them is just five. Uh, and then it talks about the event requirements and then the unlock recommendations. So you can see tier six, which would be your initial unlock at six stars, gear tier or level 65, gear tier 11, ability level six plus. And then for your seven star, it's level 70 plus, which obviously we can only get to 70, gear tier 12, ability level seven and four red stars. So that's gonna be interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they're telling us it was going to be hard. That's not anything that's a uh, new news. Uh, Phoenix, in my opinion, should be hard to lock if she's a really, truly revolutionary character. Um, she is supposed to be pretty tough. So um, hopefully she's one of the best legendaries yet to the game. So now I have to say that the part that kind of irks me uh, slightly with this is that uh, I'm talking about leveling a hand assassin to gear tier 12. Um, that's going to be tough, tough because she's not going to get much use anywhere else. Loki, fine, whatever. You know, he's solid. Maybe even Ronan um, and Mordo, too. Nobu, though, no. Um, so that's that's going to be uh, an interesting kind of development there as far as uh, where people are going to kind of land in. And I'll definitely share and do some videos on that when it comes around. And then obviously you can see the event lasts for, what is that, for about five days. So you've got some time to sh uh, farm shards during the event as well. So, you know, take that into account when you're, you know, trying to figure out if you can get the unlock or not. Okay, so now let's jump back to the blog. So then it scrolls down here. <clears throat> We're talking about Ultimus 7. And, you know, obviously this is the new kind of event raid, so to speak, at the moment, which, uh, you know, most people probably aren't in yet. Uh, it looks like, uh, did they mention it here? Uh, if you don't know, Pants of Hulk is already beaten it once, which I'm shocked that somebody's already beaten that thing. Um, we're not even in it yet. Uh, I think we're still several, you know, and we're not a you know, high-end uh, rating alliance. You know, we do pretty well. We're top 100, top 50, uh, depending on the time of the season and all that. But uh, there it is, the alliance. Pants of Hulk has already completed uh, Ultimate 7 once. So let's see if they can do it two more times. Um, I'm sure them and Cabal are just uh, knocking down the door to get that thing done. So now I will say that... Um, 
I think that, and I hate to say this, but because they beat it so quickly, I fully expect this raid to get buffed when it comes out uh, permanently. I just, you know, the raid is supposed to be hard, and the fact that an alliance could beat it within the first few days, I don't know how much they spent, I'm assuming it's a lot, but um, I can't imagine Fox Next is gonna have their next, you know, main raid be beaten in the first week. Uh, or first few days uh, where that uh, you know the the whales of the world are gonna get bored pretty quickly now one of the things that's cool here if you didn't see is that uh, basically the first team that beats this you know uh, ultimate seven three times they get uh, kind of a community celebration a special event in their honor so it'll be you know pants of Hulk or Legion of Cabal day or whatever it is and they get to choose from a select characters that have been featured in past events raids etc to be in a limited edition orb so that could be interesting uh you know blitz event campaign or raid so i'm trying to think of someone that's uh, t you know folks like that might want or need um you know i could see a falcon maybe you know from his event campaign uh rescue um, you know, obviously Captain Marvel's a, a different event. I don't think she's going to qualify. Uh, but I, I, I see those two as mainly the top, you know, that I'm trying to think of maybe some Wakandans, but I think these guys probably got them all seven starred, but that's, that's what I foresee them probably picking unless they just, you know, they roll the dice and just, you know, or throw a dart at a board and pick somebody. Uh, but it also, and there's some, uh, there will also be a celebratory logging calendar that contains a bunch of different fragments for orbs. So kind of nice, something special. Uh, we'll see. And then we can celebrate whatever alliance beats it first for the, uh, the first three times. Now, also with this, in case you miss, and I'll put the link in the description below, but I did a detailed video um, on this raid and the power levels of it. And again, I disclaimed this in the video that I did, but power levels are not necessarily indicative of what the how difficult a path might be. Uh, you know, you gotta look at the composition of the path and not just that, but there's gonna be code in the game that could make the game, that particular node or that path harder because, you know, maybe everyone's got their alts ready first turn on one of those nodes and you don't know that until you get into it. So having said that, I'm also going to give a giant shout out to, where's this, uh, da, 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 da. Um, let me see here. Uh, to the, this is the Masters of Launch, uh, Chew Burger, uh, I think it's Pika. Uh, who does the graphic work for them at the uh, Alter Nerd Reality Gaming. This this uh, uh, lane pathing, if you will, I think is the best course of action for this raid. This is what I'm going to have my alliance follow. Uh, and I like how they've got a lane that's kind of snaking on these outside ones. And then, you know, you just have these two folks solo kind of in the middle. So, um, you know, there's some difficult nodes on both of these and some overlap there. So... I liked it. I thought it kind of followed in line with what I was seeing. Uh, you know, I had not made the lane pass yet, but I was looking and thinking that, you know, you might want to throw someone here and throw us two stronger in the middle. Um, but anyway, so shout out to these guys for doing this. I think it's a great graphic. That's the one we're going to be using. And uh, I highly recommend using that for your alliance as well. Okay, so let's get back to the blog. All right, so then we talk about Mer America Chavez Blitz Part 2. So... The first one had some, you know, and again, blitz predicting can be very difficult. Um, so I'm not hating on those guys at all. Uh, you know, they, they were keeping with the patterns of what uh, they had kind of seen previously. Um, I will say that I thought it was, I thought it'd be in the 7 million range uh, for the top t uh, 1500. But where it ended up at um, is if, you, if you're not familiar with this spreadsheet, I think Wiz does this. Um, it's basically a tracker for where all of the different uh, blitzes have ended up. And America Chavez top 1500 was 5.562. So it was way under the estimates, even it was way under what I thought it would be. So, you know, these early, I know Colossus is huge, but I think that really was because it was a very, very sought after character. So I think these weekly blitzes, um, for the new characters are kind of leading to lower numbers and then america chavez was not the most sought after tune but i think that is why that happened so uh her blitz part do is coming in and i fully expect it the, the top 1500 to stay around that range 
Okay, so let's move off to the blog post and talk about something that uh, I think is kind of important for the community to understand and look at. Uh, I talked about this a little bit briefly online, and um, I've been trying to kind of help spread the word about it a little bit. Um, but uh, this post by Maeve the Great is the second time he's kind of uh, posted about, you know, just the first post was about shadow buffs. And that's been a, you know, long talked about, I'd say, issue with the game and in the community where everyone was pretty upset that there were some, you know, alleged shadow buffs in this game. So to Maeve's credit, he continued to look at uh, the game and kind of uh, talk about what was happening here. And look, this thing is, this, th this post is very, very long. Okay. It's really long. So I'm going to try to sum it up the best I can. And I'm going to put a link to this post in the description below. Um, just so you can kind of, you know, see it. Uh, but ultimately what he's done here is he confirmed that he thinks there's a gigantic bug in the game that's causing these shadow buffs. What's happening is there's some type of overlap when you do PVP, Blitz, Arena, um, War, and then go into some type of PVP, PVE type game type. And essentially what he does and what PVE is a campaign or, you know, maybe an event or something like that. So, you know, he talks about the too long didn't read situation here is the workaround is after playing Blitz or War, hard close your app. It's that simple. To avoid this problem, do that. He goes through here and, and has video and shows exactly where the power levels are when you, you know, just go from, you know, Blitz to uh, the Relic event and how it's showing different teams that you're actually facing. Because he goes to Blitz, faces a defender's team, and then, you know, fights through it loses i believe and then goes to the relic event and it shows when he goes to view teams it shows that same blitz team and the the team he's facing in there have higher power levels than what um, are actually listed so he believes that there's some sort of overlap with the coding there when you're jumping from one part to the other and he does a really good job i read this whole thing i went through the different videos he does a great job of kind of summing this up so hopefully fox next sees this they can talk about it, figure out what the bug is. But for the time being, um, I think just hard close your app after you do those PVP type um, environments before you go to PVE. And I think the one good thing is from this is if this is true, um, I think what it can do is potentially show that maybe Fox Next is not trying to necessarily shadow buff some of these things. It was just something they didn't know was happening. They couldn't figure it out and they might not have wanted to admit it. I don't know that but it might have been that case. So I'm hoping that that is the situation and it's a bug that we can get fixed here real soon. Okay, now moving on to the next thing, which is kind of a uh, you know hot button for some here too, is uh, Phoenix. So apparently, and I didn't notice this, but apparently in um, Phoenix's ability here, this section here was added. Steal, uh, the original ability said steal 5% health from all enemies and redistribute to self. And then this was part was added. This ability drains a maximum of 300% of this character's max health. So what that means is like, you know, obviously if you haven't seen or done Fear of the Darkness, Minerva is a huge, huge asset in there because of her 10% drain um, on the heals and uh, or from the enemy back to yourself. So when, you know, an enemy has, you know, a million health and you take 10% of that, everybody goes back to full health. I think that's what Fox Next is trying to address here. I don't blame them for trying to address that. Uh, I'm just certainly guessing that they did not mean for that dynamic to be in the game. And it's probably hurt what they were expecting to take a long time in Fear of the Darkness. But luckily they haven't changed with Minerva yet. So having said that, I, apparently this was not in the game when Phoenix was first put in the game. She's not, you know, and then they changed it. Um, now my personal, you know, I don't have any real strong beef with this. She's technically not unlockable yet. I personally, this wouldn't change how hard I'd go after her, um, but I, I, it's one of those things where it's just like, let's make sure that we communicate here, guys, and say, hey, guys, we didn't realize this. This is something that we needed to put in here. It wasn't in there. We want to put it. We can't keep having these Minerva type, you know, issues. That's that, I think that would be a fine kind of a way to address it if it was if it was me. Okay, and last but not least, uh, this was kind of a three day ago. Um, in-game mail that kind of came across i just wanted to talk about obviously three new playable characters we got an you know info on that already war updates very interested to see what that is i believe it might be some uh room 
you know boost things that you can kind of see in game that currently aren't active what i'm really hoping for is is it's a change to the uh, game within the game of boosting i cannot stand the, the the concept that that is i've been preaching about this for quite a while now where i just it might be on discord or something but i just really dislike um you know asking people to be online and keep an eye on a room or whatever just to boost it just in case i really was i think i i don't remember if i posted it or if i did a video on it but you know make a boost queue or you know give the defending alliance the ability to you know boost any any slot that they want um right at the start of the raid or the uh, the war and then you know you even do a boost queue if if your team wins you know give yourself the ability to boost if they win or you know give give the defender the ability to boost while someone you know for the first 10 15 seconds that someone's you know uh in the team select mode so it's not like someone's going to quickly jump in and then jump in so i don't know that's my thought with that roster 2.0 you know, I really hope this is something cool where we can, uh, you know, Valley and Casino were talking about something like this the other day. And uh, I think it was Casino was kind of talking about where, you know, some filters and stuff. And God, that would be great. You know, just a better. And he seems stoked about it. And I guess he has some pretty high expectations for what he wanted. And he was excited. So if that's the case, I'm really hoping for some good things there. So, okay. And there's actually one last thing that I want to cover here. This is the uh, Milestone Orbs. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, we've got these new milestone orbs as opposed to the um, uh, Captain Marvel milestone. So you, if you click on that, the milestone orb are fragments. Frankly, I'm happy that there's still milestones that you can do here. That's nice. So um, they didn't just kind of go back to nothing. Um, but having said that, um, there's a problem. And the problem always is... Um, you know kind of what was said and what was done so if you look on these in the center pillar um originally actually these were all kind of bugged because captain marvel showed up in each one of these and i was like this is weird like she shows up in the rare and the uncommon as well as the common and they were like fives and tens i was like so i knew something was up um but what you're seeing now is that if you scroll through here this is the uncommon you won't see her is Captain Marvel okay and that might matter it might not matter to you obviously we all want the shards for her um, let's go to the uncommon 10% nothing and then if you go to the uncommon 5% that's when she pops up and uncommon 1% so you got a 6% chance to get a five or shards of her or better. The problem is, is that there's a blog post um, that said that your likelihood to get her was nine times higher than others, which isn't the case. And they just changed it in game and didn't say anything. So that's not good. So they definitely need to kind of communicate what happened there. I know there's um, Dorian had been uh, Dorian Blade of the Ravager Report and um who also makes his own specific content had uh, um you know had shared a uh, uh a support picture as well as seeing i saw somebody on reddit posting that uh you know support said it's working as intended essentially so that's not good so anyway that's that's unfortunate so that's one of the things that you might have missed out on this week but um yeah it's it's annoying i want to Captain Marvel shards. It's not a really good look to have it kind of come out that way. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, payday is coming. That's nothing that I can't tell you. It's already in game. And so, hopefully, this was helpful for you. And as always, if you want to see any videos, whether it be something like this or a strategy session or you know some theory crafting, please click that notification bell. Where is hammer down on that like button? And we'll always love to just smash down. Should we smash? Yeah, I guess we could smash the subscription button. You do what you want to the subscription button, but those other two, those really help the channel out a lot. And uh, thanks for thanks for watching, and hopefully see you guys again soon. Thanks.